Hey, if he, if he was Jay-Z, this would be the blueprint. Because that's what Charles Rogers did. He, uh, he laid out a wonderful blueprint for us young guys and definitely guys for like myself. Uh, watching Charles Rogers growing up and then have an opportunity uh, to play with Charles Rogers my freshman year at Saginaw High and, and putting his name on, on Yahoo at the time and seeing that this is the number one player in the country. Like, how many guys can say they played on a team with the number one guy in the country? He was on my team. He was from my hometown. And uh, watching him with all the college recruits coming up there, him being, his name being in the newspaper, everybody knowing his name. Charles Rogers was a celebrity. Like, he was a celebrity at an early age. Like, everybody knew him. And for somebody like me, like, once I Googled, once I uh, Yahooed his name, I wanted that. You know, I, I, I wanted that. I wanted to get my jersey retired. I wanted college coaches to come up there for me. I wanted my name in the paper. I wanted everybody to know my name. So when they came to see Charles Rogers, I made a name for myself, and uh, they got to know my name. And then he did the same thing in college. And so once again, he laid down another blueprint, so all I had to do was follow it. And Charles Rogers always did a good, thing, good job of motivating younger athletes and telling us to get money. You know, sometimes you, everybody motivated by different things. And some people, motivation is money. Some people, motivation is whatever it is. You use that motivation to get there. And money was one of the big things. So when Charles Rogers pulled up in this nice G-Wagon with the spinning rims and the nice chain, I wanted that. I wanted that. It make you hungry. You go to his house, he's in a nice-ass house, nice-ass mansion. You want that. And that's what it, it made me grind. And so when I left Michigan, I got the awards. I was one of the one of the first and only at the time to win the Ted Henders and Lombardi Award. I was Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. That's because Charles Rogers laid out that blueprint. Then he went to the league at number two overall pick. In Detroit, like I said, you see some of them things and it just motivates you because you know you've been following this guy blueprint and it's been working. It's been working. And I kept following and it worked again. And it worked again. So thank you, Charles Rogers. And there was other guys too. But Charles Rogers really turned the light switch on for me when he was out there doing this thing, bringing all that attention to Saginaw. And I piggyback off that, and boom, here I am doing this interview with y'all. <laughs>